Well, here's something everyone in the U.S. Senate can agree on, an extra hour of sunlight. New at 5, the chamber unanimously passed just a short time ago a measure that would make daylight saving time permanent and get rid of setting clocks back in the fall. Republican Senator Marco Rubio from Florida sponsored the Sunshine Protection Act. He said he doesn't know if the House will take it up, which would be necessary before President Joe Biden could sign it into law. If it does happen, the change would not go into effect until next November because transportation schedules have already been built out until then. Time to check in now with our Haley Clausen. And yeah, we did, uh, what did we, we sprung forward, so we lost an hour. It's hard for a lot of people. Uh, how could this potentially impact us here at home? So when we are looking at Palm Springs timing specifically, right now our latest sunrise time of the year is at 651 in the morning. If daylight saving becomes a permanent change, our latest sunrise time then would become 751 in the morning, and that's typically in the month of January. Now, when we're talking about sunset right now, the earliest sunset time that we have is 437. This is in late November, early December. But again, if we stay permanently in daylight saving, our earliest sunset then would only be 537. So that's how it would be impacting us locally.